Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and this is my Metaphobia Diary for week 3. Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, what's happened so far with me and uh, going through chapter 6, 7 and 8. Um, so I told you last week that I would be going to a social event and I did. There was drinking involved, there was lots of people, we even went to a club afterwards and as you might imagine the anxiety was you know, very high. But I um, did all the things that I had to do using my Thrive skills and I told myself that um, I do have the skills to get past this and every time the anxiety rose I was able to push it down and um, even though I didn't enjoy the event so much because that's not really my scene I did take it as a very good challenge and I think I'm going to do that in the future um, also um, Thrive not only teaches you about how to control you know, your anxiety and stuff um, and get over it but it also teaches you how to look at things in a more positive way so by kind of seeing everything as a challenge I'm looking and processing it in a more internal way. So um, I'm really proud of myself um, and I'm going to be talking about chapter 6 right now. So chapter 6 is a really good chapter because it kind of explains to you the relationship um, the three main limiting beliefs have and that's really good to know and it also gives you a space where you can jot down um, your your previous scores of the Locus of Control quiz and things like that so it's really good to go back and um, kind of see how much you've grown in the past couple of weeks actually. So um, chapter 6 is pretty straightforward and clear um, but um, I'm still working on everything that I have to be doing um, in the end of the chapter it says what I should be working on from now on. So um, now we go on to chapter 7 and chapter 7 is all about personality types and this is a really 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 interesting chapter because it kind of explains to you the different kind of personalities um, somebody with a metaphoria would have and um, it kind of uses each one um, as kind of like another way to branch out what kind of personalities you might have um, what kind of unhelpful personalities you might have actually and it's really interesting to read and um, I can relate to almost all of these and um, what one of the things that is good is that um, you just kind of feel like you know yourself a little bit more and try to understand the way that you think a little bit more so that's a really good chapter and then chapter 8 is I think for me at the moment the most important chapter in this whole entire book and that is um, unthinking help, unhelpful thinking styles. Um, and unhelpful thinking styles is just lots and lots of thinking styles that you have, which are unhelpful. <laughs> kind of didn't have to explain that one, but um, it explains each and every one. And there's also a quiz that you can take. And obviously, I scored like high on almost all of them. Um, some of the examples of this is you having a very black and white thinking style, you having a negative thinking style, an obsessive thinking style, and I am all of these. And it just explains to you each and every single one and how you can kind of help yourself get through them and um, not to do them. So I'm going to work really, really hard to do all of this um, because I can relate to almost all of them, especially the obsessive one and also the perfectionist one. So all of these are unhelpful to me and I can totally see why after reading this chapter. Um, and I'm going to try really hard to try to not do all of these unhelpful thinking styles. And it will be interesting to see how I can uh, try to control them. So feeling so far, um, I think, um, I still, I don't know why, there's, there's still like a kind of a, a twang in my heart that kind of each time something good happens I feel like um, I just can't believe it, you know, is it me, is it really me, or do I still feel reluctant about it, I'm not so sure, but I am proud of all the things that I've um, accomplished so far, and um, I'm hoping that um, the week's just going to get easier and easier and better and better. Um, like I said at the start, I'm not going to lie, um, it is hard because you have to kind of maintain and reinforce all the things that you read into your brain again, and kind of process them every day. So I'm still doing um, the everyday stuff for steam exercise and that's really been helping. So um, so far all I can say is that um, I'm really understanding more and more about myself and the way I think. And um, hopefully uh, next week I will be able to tell you guys even more stuff that I've been doing. So see you guys next week.